In this view, let's take a look at the design tab, uh, the different sections of the report, and add, adding fields to the report. Uh, so you can see this is our design tab, and we have uh, there are different sections: report header, page header, details, report footer, and page footer. Now, when I add fields, it does matter what section you put them in because, and you'll see when, when I pre when we preview our report, what I mean. So let's add some fields. Let's add. Let's add our salesperson's first name, last name, and then also uh, let's add something from the sales order header table. Uh, total due. Okay. So you can see when I added the fields, it automatically adds a field up in the page header. I'm the fields in the page header are actually going to show up once per page. So this is a good place to put column headings. I'm actually going to bold these so, it, so we can illustrate that. Okay, and our report header is only going to show up once per report. So you're going to want to add things like a report title to this. So to insert a text object, I can click on text object. Let's add, call this sales report. Okay, and that's going to be our report header. Okay, so let's preview and see what this looks like. Okay, in our detail section, it gives us our salesperson and the total due. And then you can see that our page header is only shown once per page. And so I should go to the second page to show you that. You can see it stays at the top of each page. Our report header is only here once. So this is the only time this title will show up per, per this, for this report. Okay, let's go back to the design tab and let's add a field in the report footer. We're actually going to put in a total here. So let's insert insert a summary. Right click and total do and insert summary. Let's just do a grand total sum. Okay. And there it adds it automatically to our report footer. So we'll show you where that goes. All the way at our, the end of our report. Let's make this wider so we can see. There's our grand total. Design. Okay. Let's also add a field in the page footer. This is also going to show up once per page. So usually things like your date, um, which is a special field. And also let's add the page number. Okay, preview. So here you can see, go back to the beginning of our report, our date, and our page number.